Hey, this is Nathan from Sound Iron. Today I'm going to walk you through my composition for Vintage Keys Dusty Roads. Let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. Everything you just heard was from Dusty Roads. No additional samples were used. Now we'll break it down track by track. Admittedly on this track, I used a lot of Valhalla Supermassive because we just interviewed those guys on the Sound Iron podcast, so you should check that out if you haven't yet. And Valhalla Supermassive is free, so there is no excuse for you to not have it. I'm going to turn it off right here though, so that you can hear the roads better. So the first track you can see is panned a little bit to the left. And this one is panned a little bit to the right. So that was the idea for the initial track. And you can see super massive. This is the default setting. I just changed this from milliseconds to a quarter note. And then the other one is using a one eighth note. And you can see this is our dusty roads mic one, which is the direct line in. That was the start of the composition, is just getting those echoes going. Then the next track is also the Rhodes, and we're also using Valhalla Supermassive. This is the reverse eighth note preset, and this is Dusty Rhodes mic two, which is uh, stereo mics, and it is a little bit harsher sound, but with that reverb, it kind of blooms and you can hear it later as well. And all three together at the beginning sounds like this. So a pretty cool chorusy echo. This track is a custom effects preset called Aspen Hike, and you can see that it is using Mic 1 and Roadbeans 4. We've included 20 ambiences with this library. So that just keeps the rhythmic machine moving. This track is called Dark Alley Mod Wheel. So lots of arpeggiation going on. This is the Rhodes Mic 2, which is a little harsher. And I just use this for bass stuff uh, toward the end of the track. Has that buzz in it. This track is called Borderline Clavy Mod Wheel, and it sounds a little bit like a clavinet. Here's what I mean. This is a custom effects preset called Perfect Fourths, and you can see the orange line that is pan back and forth. So 
you can see mic one is just normal and then mic two is pitched up five semitones which is a perfect fourth and some really interesting sounds out of this as a jazz trick stacking fourths this track is called sparklers mod wheel This custom effects preset is called Filter Freak Mod Wheel. This track is called Hey Leslie Mod Wheel and it sounds a little bit like a Leslie speaker. This track is called Imagine Fluff Mod Wheel. This track provides a lot of the percussion. This is called Keys or Drums. And you can see it's the key down effects with the arpeggiator. And this is the key up effects pitched down with the arpeggiator. And I printed a stem later in the track and used, surprise, Valhalla Supermassive. This is dotted eighth chorus echo, and I pitched the audio up. So when they play together, it sounds like this. So it just makes the last section busier, more percussion going on. This track is called Ogre Approach Mod Wheel. see this is the underground bunker reverb, the screamer, metal, the distortion, and the delay. This is Ogre Approach again, but I just slightly modified it so it was just kick. This track is called Natural Chorus and it uses mic 1 and mic 2 and they are just 8 cents apart from each other and it gives it kind of a warm chorusy effect. This track is called Randomized Mod Wheel. This last track is called Whoosh Mod Wheel, and when you turn the Mod Wheel up, it opens the filter, so you can see when the Mod Wheel goes up and you'll hear it. And that wraps up my composition for Dusty Roads. If you'd like to take a closer look, you can download the Reaper file and MIDI file in the description below. Please subscribe here for more videos like this, and we'll talk to you soon.